all mama wheat as promised here's the goldfish patty video so first thing i want to show y'all is look at these beautiful loins everybody was asking me about bones and they heard it's really has a lot of bones and stuff in it the way we clean them is we cut both of those i guess you'd call them tenderloins off both sides of the goldfish just kind of like a pork loin on a, on a like a back strap um so i do have a couple clips of wheat cleaning those for me so we're going to switch to that let y'all see that and then we'll come back and i'll show you how i trim these up and get them ready for the goldfish patties okay did y'all see how we did that so what he did was just kind of went down the backbone just to expose both of those fish loins and then he just stayed close close to the bone all the way down until and you get this and what i do next is i trim all of the little funky parts off like i done cut that out and then all the little like bloody nasty spots i kind of cut all of that out and trim and get it nice and beautiful so i'm gonna do that because it's gonna take a little bit and i don't want you bored to death so when that's done i'm gonna come back and show you the next step okay so once i get them all cleaned up and i lay them in a pot lay them all in the pot nice and pretty then i cover it with water try not to make a mess because i'm a messy person just cover it with a little water it's probably better if you bake them i never tried to bake them but we don't bake in louisiana because it is hot 95 percent of the year so i've been making it like this for years i add a little bit garlic powder we're gonna add a teaspoon of salt and a half teaspoon of pepper let's do two and then i do like a cap of crabble this is any kind of louisiana liquid crab shrimp oil y'all want add that to it and that's it now we're going to turn it on and we're going to let it cook until it kind of flakes like crab meat i stick a fork in it when i can twist it and it starts flaking it's done so where we got a goldfish cooking down over there i'm going to take advantage of the time and finish peeling these potatoes we're going to mix our flaked goldfish with kind of smashed potatoes and a bunch of seasoning to make our patties so the first thing we got to do is peel them I use a little paring knife to peel my potatoes. I always did. I don't know if it's a southern thing or not. My grandma always did. Um, and besides, I have a cute little paring knife my Nana Retta gave me. So I'm going to go ahead and finish peeling these. I'm going to dice them. Get them in a colander. For those of you under 50, a strainer. Rinse them off and get them boiling in a pot. All I do is add a little salt and pepper to the potatoes. And then I'll be back to show you how we're going to season up these patties. Okay, so we have our goldfish cooking down and our potatoes cooking down. While that's going on, I'm gonna chop up the seasoning that we're gonna mix to make our patties. I'm gonna dice two large bell peppers, two large onions, about half to three quarters of this celery, and about two of these, I think. I'm gonna eyeball it, so we'll see. See what we wind up with, I'll let you know. Kinda, I never measure anything, so I'm trying to measure for the sake of this video. So we're gonna get the chopper. Okay, so I have my bell pepper, onions, and celery cut up. Um, if I shine the camera up on top of it, it's like even piles. I usually eyeball it, but um, for video's sake, everybody's going to ask me exactly how much. This is two large bell peppers, two large onions, and almost the whole bunch of celery, like three quarters. But I'm going to go ahead and measure it out so I can give you guys exact measurements. I also cut up two bunches of the green onions. This isn't going to get cooked down with this. This is going on the side. So let me get those measurements and then I'll show you what I'm going to do next with these veggies. Be right back. And we put a little olive oil in this pan and I'm going to go ahead and cook these veggies down. Okay, so we wind it up with three cups of bell peppers, three cups of onions, and three cups of celery. I'm going to write the recipe down at the end of the video. So we're going to just cook this down until it's real wilted and mushy. So this is what it's supposed to look like. We cooked it down till it was mush, just like that. Okay, our goldfish is starting to fall apart, if you can see that. You don't want it mushy, you just want it where you can kind of break it apart like that. If that makes any sense. We don't want mushy gall balls, so gall patties. So just kind of like that, okay? Now we're gonna take it out this and let it dry on a pan. 
So we want the potatoes kind of fork tender, but not mushy. So you kind of got to push on them a little bit to mush them because we don't want mushy potatoes or mushy fish. So I'm going to go ahead and drain these and I'm going to put these on a platter to dry too. So I'll put my goldfish on a platter to cool off and dry out. When it cools off, um, I'm going to flake it like crab meat. I put my potatoes on a platter too to kind of dry them out. Okay, so our potatoes are cooled down and our goldfish is cooled down. So what I do is I strain them, I put them both on platters and I stick them on my kitchen table underneath the ceiling fan so that they cool down, but they also dry out a little bit because we don't want mushy goldfish patties. So when that happens, then I start mashing these potatoes. We don't want any big chunks in them. We want to mash really, really good. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish mashing these and then I'm gonna show you what we do with the goldfish. Okay, now I got all of these potatoes good and mashed. I mean, there's little bitty bitty, like fine little chunks in it, but not any big, big, big chunks. So you want them kind of like smashed potatoes, not like whipped mashed potatoes, right? We still want them kind of firm. So I got this done. Now I'm gonna show you how we do the goldfish. Set this out here. Okay, now for the goldfish. So this is how I do it. I just kind of flake it like crab meat. So you pull all the meat off and you flake it like crab meat. Now, a lot of people grind this up raw and make patties that way. And that's fine. That's a whole different kind of recipe, gall balls. I love those too, but I've been making them this way for, I don't even know how many years. And we want a more like crab cake consistency. So this is what we're going for. Kind of crab meaty looking. I use my fingers off camera because it's a lot easier than a spark. And I don't cook for a restaurant, I cook for my family, and they don't care if mama uses her fingers in their food. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish this and get this whole platter like crab meat, and then I'll show you what we do next with the potatoes and all our seasoning. Okay, so we got all our seasoning cooked down, except for our green onions, and we got our goldfish all flaked like crab meat, and we got our potatoes mashed. So we're gonna mix everything in this bowl together, and measure everything out so I can tell you exactly how much it is. Because again, I never measure. I'm measuring for y'all. Okay, so we wind it up with about 12 cups of goldfish meat and about four cups loosely packed of smashed potatoes, real loosely packed. And then in here, I have all of those bell peppers, onions, and celery. That we cooked down with some olive oil. Now all of this gets mixed together till it's all good and loving each other. I'm gonna mix this and then I'll come back and show you how to make the patties. All right, I forgot to add my green onion. So I mixed all of that, but I realized something's missing. Forgot the green onions. So we're gonna dump these green onions in. I tasted it and it needed a little kick. So we're gonna add a little Cajun seasoning to that, which is our Tony Satchers. Kick it up a little bit. That's the good thing about it. It's all cooked, so you can mix it and taste it and then add what you need. Okay. So now in the plate, I'm gonna do a little egg wash with some milk. Got a little gangster lean on this, but for bulbous. And this one, we're gonna add some fish fry. Now this fish fry that I'm using, a good friend of ours makes. You can order it online. I'll put the link. It's Hot Rod's Original Fish Fry. It's cornmeal based, not flour based. Not like a chicken fry. It's a seafood fry. So everything's mixed. We have our egg wash and our fish fry, and we're ready to make our patties. Finally! Okay, so we added no breadcrumbs, no eggs, nothing to this mixture. It pretty much, if your meat was dry and your potatoes were dry, it'll stay together. So I'm going to make some small patties because I've been known to make them way too big cute little goldfish cake and now we're going to dip them in the egg wash really easy they're kind of delicate but and then dip them in a the fish fry that's it so i'm going to make enough to fill up a pan and then go fry some up repeat 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 we got the cast iron eating hub, and I'm gonna put a little canola oil in it. I like using peanut oil, but I'm gonna be honest, peanut oil, but I had to remortgage the house to buy it. So you just coat the bottom, that's it. I don't deep fry these. We just coat the bottom, get it good and hot. Okay, so we turned it down a little bit because I seen smoke and I don't wanna burn this oil. So this is how we test it. You see that little sizzle? We're ready. So we go ahead and lay these in there. 
Okay, I think I see one ready. Look at that. Golden brown, y'all. Okay. See how pretty? So put some towels down in the plate. And we're just gonna lay them down the drain. Now after I take these out, I'm gonna add just a little more oil. And I'll just keep adding oil as I need it. So I'm not deep frying these. Goldfish patties. All right, y'all, that's a wrap. 52 goldfish patties. That one goldfish made 52 patties. I ate two taste testing while I was cooking. Mama gets two patties because she's the one who cooks. Um, I am gonna leave the recipe in the top comments in the comment section. And if y'all have any questions, please feel free to ask me. I will address it in a live video. Leave it in the comments and I promise I'll try to get to everybody. Thank y'all for tuning in and watching my craziness. Say bon.